it's a Tuesday morning and the clock is uh, half past seven when Team Suico approach the uh, old but very very nice uh, Italian village Port Marriott made by a Welsh architecture in the beginning of the 20th century. As always in adventure racing, great stories are made. I was <laughs> going to tell you about the people who were driving a kayak. I was going to tell you about a dog on a tall flood bed in Wales. I didn't have water. I didn't think it was clear. But so was it in any case. Yeah, this tide coming is, isn't great. <laughs> The organization opened up the paddling again 8 o'clock in the morning and in picture Hoglovs Silva is leaving together with Adidas Terex to cross the river and then get up on the bikes due to the uh, section has been shortened down due to the heavy waves and winds in the ocean. Sveko is uh, at the same time leaving for the navigation, approximately uh, 40 minutes in this uh, picturesque and very good looking Italian village. Paddling in heat. Yeah, it was low water, so we could draw the hook and the sandbank and the hook. Och nu verkar ju tidvatten ha vänt, så nu blir det motströms till sista paddlingskontrollen och se hur det går. Det är riktigt tryck på vattnet, så det blir nog lite kämpigt, men då sen ska vi i princip med ströms tillbaka till växlings T8 med cykel sen. Vi måste göra vårat race, det är, ska det är tre dygn till liksom. Vi ska tävla till kvar och jag tror om vi håller i som vi brukar göra. Vi orkar köra hela vägen, så kanske vi kan ta andra platsen som Haglöfs UK. Around 8.35 Tuesday morning, Sveko has finished the navigation in Port Marion and heading out for the kayak stage. The uh, tide is extreme and they need to use the white water traverse technique to cross the uh, river. The entrance of the river is uh, one mile to the west so the tide is pushing in really really hard and due to they put down a lot of energy they were almost standing still as you can see in this time lapse picture. Back at transition area 3 and the Swedish team Swedemount Adventure Racing. They are still on the full course doing a great race as the first adventure race abroad. The tide has now reached up all the way up in the river and they have heavy wind and heavy tide fighting against them so they are almost standing still on the river. We wish them a great luck, we didn't have any time to speak with them. In Port Marion, the organization has closed the paddling due to the extreme tide, and you can see some teams here. Catch, you can see here Tura Share from Scandia Adventure Team. After the mountain bike section, we are heading up in the mountains, and I will try to track with the teams on stage five. See you then. <laughs> 